did you make this movie for the like mm, for the festivals in Europe and America or whatever or did you make it for uh, the people back at home or who was the audience that you made it for because it felt like I'm lacking some very important uh, knowledge as a as a person who lives here to understand the movie so that is my question sorry if it's stupid thank you No, it's um, this is like rehearsals for rehearsals, singing and musical, and for myself to work with the singers, with these girls, because we're going to do some other work. Uh, so it began like that for us for work, to work between us to see if it worked or not, the, everything, the songs and uh, so it's, uh, as you might imagine, it's, um, it's a very, um, we are three people working, just sound, me, camera, and they are singing. And we spent some days doing this. My, I'm not thinking about this, uh, festivals or... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, really. It's because I'm tired, but... Uh, no, it's... Uh, just take it like, uh, like work. It's just some work and now uh, some... Some people saw this and want to show this in festivals, of course, because it's difficult for a short film to get a release, commercial, in theaters. It's not a film that you can show bef before uh, the Scorsese film. or um, Films today are very long, three hours, so they don't want to extend that pain so I, I, I have no chance if you're talking about festivals or if you imply something it's the only chance for this film to be seen for, uh, I mean here or in Germany or in Japan or, or. Um, I also have a question to Mr. Costa um, the opening scene reminded me a lot of the opera as well, like besides the singing and the music, the way the people were placed in the setting. So I was wondering if that was an inspiration behind the opening sequence, and if not, what the inspiration was, especially behind the setting in which it took place. Um, <clears throat> this is... Uh, um a project or an idea, uh, it's contained in the title. So even the, the, the English title. These girls come from the island, one island in the world, in the Atlantic, which is called Fogu, fire. And they are daughters, they are born there, they, are, they live in Portugal, in, and they are immigrants, their fathers, their ancestors were immigrants. And this uh, country, Cabo Verde, is, um, is a very difficult place because it was uh, deserted in the beginning. It was colonized, it was... Um, the Cape Verdean people is, uh, is, a, is a mixture between black and white and slaves and, and aristocrats in the 16th century. Uh, it's a very uh, harsh land. Uh, there's no... This, I, mean, there's, I think four million immigrants in uh, Europe and America and a hundred thousand uh, Cape Verdeans living in there, so it's a very difficult place to live. There's no agriculture, very small industry, etc. So people live, and 
And there's, a, there's this big volcano called Fogo, fire. It sometimes erupts. What you see in the end is a, um, a film made by a, a scientist, ethnographer, et ethnologist that shot this in 51. It's one after, the, it's the morning after the eruption uh, in 51, 1951. So that's the setting. If you can, it's, it's an inspiration too, if you want. I'm Ukrainian, it's especially this Ukrainian song. I would like to know mm. uh, how was the process of choosing this song? Did you know this song before? Okay. Uh, no, uh, no, I've been working a lot with a group of um, Baroque ensemble, music, musicians, and Dennis, uh, viola player uh, from Ukraine. He lives in Lisbon s since he was five, so he's now 30. <clears throat> and we were doing this, and I, I just thought we needed something in the middle because I wanted them to talk, not sing, talk, sing, and because this is based on, on counterpoint, so I wanted a bit uh, a conversation between the singers. And so to do this, um, the basic is uh, a piece by uh, uh, Biagio Marini, which is an uh, Italian composer. It's more or less, he lived more or less the age of Vivaldi. And, and, and then um, Dennis, proposed me, actually a long time ago, he, he played this uh, lullaby from your country. And he said, uh, my, my grandmother used to, used to sing me or play, I can't remember, because she was also a musician. And, uh, and we took it immediately, all the musicians. Uh, and well, he did a variation, and so that's it. And, um, and it's, it's quite nice. It's, for me, it's the best part. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, one question for uh, Fabrice. Um, uh, your film uh, could be uh, seen, I think so, um, as a sort of testimony of an absence. And there is a, a, a whole sea of possible uh, films uh, uh, that could be coming out from uh, what we see. So everyone maybe has his own uh, uh, movie in, in, in his head. So um, how was it uh, for you to work with uh, this material you had, you were confronted with, to just get to this, I wouldn't say story, but uh, to get to, gis uh, to, this, uh, to this film? Maybe first I have to clear something. I'm not the director of this film. No, it's no, Jean-Luc Godard. I know, so. I know, I know, um, I know. No. And uh, I just, I just, um, I was just the hand to mm -hmm. go from the idea uh, that it was making a film from a notebook, mm -hmm. brochure. I don't know the translation. Brochure. You understand brochure? brochure yeah. It was a brochure of a project film, and uh, we needed to to make a film from that, not just paper, but a film. And um, so Jean-Luc decided of the time on each page. So it comes from a page, it becomes time. And then I make the edit uh, with this indication. And so it becomes a film, first silent. And then he gives me the time for the moment of sound and the time also for the moment of music. And then it becomes a film. Uh, but it's completely made by Jean-Luc on his, on his table in his whole, uh, home, but without using machine to edit or film camera. But he's making cinema with paper directly and uh, pencil and uh, scissor. Um, yeah, then it's... Um, yeah, I don't know if I understand yeah, <laughs> the, no, no, the no. question. But, yeah. um, We're fine. And... I, I did know nothing to 
to make it nice or, or bad. Mm -hmm. It's just the time. So it's uh, like uh, uh, when it comes in, in uh, a word, it's because the time stops. It's like uh, les coups près. Mm -hmm.